Hello, everyone and all, and welcome back to more Let's Plays, guys of Arcadia. I am the Max of Your Trades, and you might be wondering what the actual heck and bracken are we even doing back in this here place? Well, I'll tell you. I was actually kind of curious and wondering about some stuff. You, you might remember at the end of the other one, I was like, well, we never found that one bounty, and I was worried about, I don't know, maybe it, it was missable if I didn't find it. Well, the good news is, I totally found it, so that's pretty good. But you might be wondering, well, how exactly did I get back here? Well, I went exactly the way I came. And I went back through that giant, you know, tornado cluster thing. It went significantly faster because I now have the ability to, you know, blow up the entire battle arena and engulf pretty much everybody in massive flames thanks to Ica. But, you know, uh, regardless, I actually, despite it kind of being my entire MO when I play RPGs, I, in fact, did not uh, fly around and just, you know, farm experience and get massively overpowered. I, I, I wanted to. But I chose not to. So as you can see, we're pretty much exactly where we were. I want to feel... I feel like maybe... I think maybe Drachma learned Noxie magic? I, I feel like was the was the full extent of what exactly we were able to get out of that. So, no real major concerns there. Anyway, so I, I came back around to these here parts because I, I wanted to get to, like, an inn and stuff. And I noticed that this dude was here and I, was, and I talked to him. And it, it seems he's the guy, apparently, that has the bounty on him. So... That's obviously something we're going to be doing before we move on with the rest of the air story. I think that seems like a pretty good idea. Uh, first and foremost, I actually would like to go over to the inn and get some healings, because that was, in fact, the entire reason I came to this place in the first place. So, there you go. I mostly just kind of zoomed about for a little while until I figured, well, I, I can't really see nothing, so I don't know. I guess I'll go get my health back, if nothing else. And that's when I saw the dude, so it all seemed to work out pretty well. Anyway, howdy doody. 120 gold, that's highway robbery. Here you go. Now give us a bed. We have many naps to take. More than you ever could possibly understand or comprehend. All that does is const- Every time I go to- I have a character in a game go to sleep, I just realized, man, I have the worst sleep schedule. And I do not get much sleep. <laughs> uh, how well. It be what it be. Oh! Actually, that reminds me of something that I kept forgetting about. Seeing as how I imagine... I'm, it's kind of weird we're on ground, so I'm, maybe we'll fight on the ground? But it just kept reminding me because of boat stuff. How going to the inn makes the, the ship get more health? That I'm not sure about. All right, so hang on a second. If I could remember anything. Yeah, Captain Stripes. Let's see. A mark earned by shooting down an enemy. Using it will increase ship parameters and endurance. So then I can just, like... Oh! Well, the problem with that being, I know... <laughs> I I wish I knew that ahead of time. Then I had to use that. The high, high quality repair mat materials using moonstones restores all HP. Alright, well, I mean, I got that. I got that. Alright, so... I don't know if this is going to be a ground or boat battle, but I guess we're prepared for anything. Hey, isn't that one of the guys on the wanted list at the Sailor's Guild? Let's talk to him! What's the haps? Huh. You have the look of a sailor about you. Today is your lucky day. We're feeling generous, so leave all your money and we'll let you live. Do not attempt to resist. We are the legendary air pirates of the Larso clan. Yeah, okay, good luck with that. So, you're Rupee Larso, eh? Good timing. We were just looking for you. We're gonna mess up your whole damn day! In retrospect, we don't really cut the most imposing of an image, do we, us three? You've made quite a name for yourself, robbing innocent sailors and all. As blue rogues, we cannot sit idly and let you continue like this. You're quite brave for such a small boy. <laughs> like, he's almost double your height. Very well then. Shall we battle here and get it over with? No, wait. There's no need to cause needless destruction of the city. Meet me at my ship. We can fight on the deck. On the open, eh? Very well. Lead the way. So, we are fighting on, on foot and not in boat? Alright, that works for me. I'm way better at this than I am in boat battles. I'm Vice of the Blue Rogues. Ruby Lasso, prepare to defend yourself. <laughs> that was quite the resounding guahaha. You truly are a brave little boy. However, you are mistaking, mistaken about one thing. I am not Ruby Larso. You can tell because my name never changed from Large Man. Master Rupi, it is time to do battle. Please come out here. Excusez-moi. Barda, you know how I hate fighting. 
This is... different. Master Rupee, you are the head of the Larso clan. You should not say things like that. There are enemies present. How did we not see you? Now that your father has passed away, you are our leader. You must be strong. I feel as if this child may in fact not want to be living this life. This little runt is their leader? I heard that the leader of the Larso clan was a giant. I guess I shouldn't believe everything I hear. They probably just made the same assumption we did. What did you say? How dare you speak of Master Ruby like that? I have... A mustache hair ended up in my mouth. That was gross. You shall pay for your insolence. You know, the hilarious thing is that works for both me and the guy I was talking as, so it's a bit of a win-win for us. I shall crush your skulls like so many Laquat berries. Like sparrow's egg between thighs. Like Laquat berries? Barda, do you always have to be so graphic? It makes me sick to my stomach. Master Rupee, I was just trying to put fear into them. Be strong. We're about to do battle. Prepare yourself. Why do you get so much voice acting? Now put your back into it. We must show them the true power of the Larso clan. I am so much happy. I'm so much more happy about having the ability to fight him like this. I I honestly kind of figured all wanted things were going to be, you know, on the boat. Can I actually attack the little kid? I can. All right. Not gonna lie, mildly curious as to what that would end up doing. I guess... I, I don't know. I almost feel as if I should be attacking the small one because he's probably gonna have, like, some super move that I can't possibly comprehend if I mess with the big guy too long. But, I don't know. We'll see. That was some kind of vacuum punch. All right, I can respect that. That was pretty baller. But then, uh, you know, you got yourself shanked a little bit and then BOOM! Boomerang, as it were. There you go. What's he gonna do? Oh! He's doing magic moves. Alright. Probably boosting the strengths of, of, of people. So that makes sense. That makes sense. Alright. I wasn't entirely sure if you were actually gonna be like an, a legitimate combatant or if you were just gonna kind of, you know, be cowardly in the in the in the corner the entire time. Okay, alright, fair enough, fair enough. It appears to me that these guys might actually be made out of some pretty tough stuff. So, that's going to be a, a bit of a minor, minor issue. That's okay. That's okay. We, we, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Um, I feel like... Do you think it would be a stupid idea to do this? I've never seen it, and I want to. I feel like this is a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Which is really not something you should probably be doing. That's, that's actually a bit of an issue. I feel like that boosted up a bunch of SP for them. That, 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 that could be an issue. Yeah, that is a bit of an issue. All right. So I, I really wasn't expecting this to be an easy fight by any stretch, but uh, it appears that this is going to be a bit more of a, of a kerfuffle than I was actually prepared for. That's a bit of an issue. Oh, well, we'll, we'll make it work. I'm going to assume that uh, the fact that they, they, they lowered our stats played a large role in that. Well, that is unfortunate, to say the bare minimum. Okay, okay. So how exactly are we going to go about any of this? Going to have to figure something out here. Yeah, that's not going to get rid of stat downs, though. Right, weaken an enemy, right? All right, all right, all right. That seems like a pretty good idea. Try to make that thing all work out. And then we could also use Encrem ourselves on Vice. It seems like a pretty good idea. And then, because I want to, I can try and remember which one of these things is the thing I'm looking for and give it to Fina, because she has been taking a lot of power. Uh oh. Uh, okay, I wasn't a hundred percent sure if uh, if Dragnum didn't just like get knocked off the boat permanently. That seemed like a thing that could have possibly happened. There we go. You do it to us, we'll do it to you. What are you gonna do about that? Apparently, absolutely nothing, and and, and be perfectly well off. I don't even understand why RPGs bother giving you the ability to up and lower enemy stats and status stats. Miss, what? This should work. Did... I was under the impression that we were weakened, not 
made incapable of being able to use magic. Okay, um, hmm, you mind maybe, maybe giving that a second try? We get, we'll give that another go of it, maybe? Because, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, that, that didn't seem like it made any sense to me at all. And I did not care for it, so, yeah. And we'll just, uh, basically just do the exact same thing we did last time, except maybe this time it won't go horribly for us? That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Alright, so far we've been doing some pretty adequate damage. But, you know, sure would be nice if these things didn't fail. Okay. So, am I to interpret that because our stats have been lowered, I'm now in capable of boosting them? Ordinarily, if stuff like that happens, you could just cast, you know, the reverse of the, of the spell and undo it. That's why I was doing it at all. But if my stats have been lowered, I can't make them go back up? Alright, well, that's, that's two times in a row that both of those spells have literally done nothing. Which, sure, either I'm b bizarrely unlucky in every regard, or I'm just not able to use those for whatever reason. Okay. That's very odd to me. Um, I somehow doubt that that'll work at all. Okay, maybe... Okay, hang on. Okay, well... Vice should definitely stick to doing that. I know you've got the ability in there too, so... Let's give that a try. It'd be nice if we could get some kind of benefit here? Do you think this would do anything? Would you th do you think lowering stats also counts as, like, an ailment? This is really probably not the best time and place to, you know, figure this stuff out, if I'm being real, but it, here, here I go anyway, I guess. Oh, that's always a wonderful sign. You, 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 you love to see that. Okay, so I can't undo the power down. Can I at least give us speed up? No. No, I cannot, I guess. Was I just being really, really unobservant and they casted a spell that made it all how all of my magic would do literally nothing? Is that a thing? I'm very confused and scared. That does do it! Okay. Okay. I see. Well, then that is a very interesting question that I'd like an answer to. Okay, okay, okay. So I was able to make it so our stats... For, for, I used it on Fina because I, 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 I don't know. It just seemed like the thing to do as a test. Okay, okay. Let's see here. Uh, don't I have an item in here somewhere for, for the purposes of, of healing everybody a little bit? Yeah. Actually, hang on. What about that? What about that there healing self? No, that allows regeneration. Right. Okay, okay. Well, then it definitely seems like a good idea to... Hang on a second. Do damage. Do that. Cleanse all allies of adverse effects. Yeah, that seems like the best idea. Let's do that. Then, maybe we'll be able to actually buff ourselves? You know, at least I get to see a bunch of these new moves. I got that going for us. There we go. Now we're not feeling so weak no more. A legendary fire, excuse me. I feel as if that should not have been able to hit. Yeah, okay. Well, as it were. Let's try this. Just gi give ourselves a, a wee bit of the healings, if you don't mind. Danky, danky. All right. Oh, that's gonna be a bit of a mild issue. It sure is. Okay. Well, I mean that definitely helped. <laughs> that almost completely undid what he did. All right. Fine by me. Fine by me. Well then, I dare say, I'm gonna use Cutlass Fury. That seems like a good idea, and then, because, I, I, I guess, we can't use that, 
Okay, well, I can still use this, so maybe we'll be able to buff Feist this time. Maybe. Oh, she can't do that is what she can't do. I get you, I get you, I get you. All right, then, well, then just do that so you're, you're feeling pretty good. And you got the spirit charge. Go for that. Yeah, there you go. Make up for some of the stuff that I'm about to mindlessly expend. He's using the fires again. Wow, that hurts like, 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 like so dang much. Okay, annoying. Is that going to very conveniently make it so that I can't get any buffs? No, actually it didn't. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, here's hoping this does more than 500 points of damage. That's what I'm really hoping for. Help me out here, universe. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Not by a lot, but it did in fact give me exactly what I asked for, so... I mean, if it gave me 501, then I'd be a bit more cross, but as, as is, that's not bad. I, I can work with that. Okay, okay. So, you got that going for you, and that's pretty good. So, I guess, I guess, um... <laughs> I wiggle my, my, my mustache inquisitively. Perhaps I should have been a bit less stupid and bought some more items. I feel like that might have been a pretty good call. Oh well, not really a whole lot we can do about that. All right, well, we can also, I guess we can cure that up at least and you know, still smack around the guy. Legendary fire. All right, all right. You sure do know how to make yourself very annoying, don't you? Oh, that's the Satan number. Okay, all right. Let's try this. This battle is definitely going in a direction that I wasn't entirely prepared for, but at the same time, it's not that bad. With due time, patience, and diligence, we should be okay. Really? Let's try this. So, you can lower my stats, but I can't up them if they're lowered. That makes no sense at all. All right, so I guess that's just something we're going to have be forced to deal with. Oh dear. That's a bit of an issue now, isn't it? Okay, well, can't buff myself. Then there's really not much of a point. Uh, that's such a pile of butts, you don't even know it. Let's see what would be the best course of action here. Right, right. I must have something that like cures like 4,000 HP. I I, I surely did pick something like that up at some point. Did I not? Did I really not? No? Oh, hang on. There we go. Uh, no. No, I did not. That's really unfortunate, if I'm being honest. All right. Well, I mean, just got to use what I got and hope for the best, I suppose. And uh, ideally, I'd prefer if Drachma, in fact, did not have incredibly low stats. Thank goodness you chose an entirely separate target that missed by like a mile and a half and it still hit. I believe you'll find I disagree with how that how that happened. That, 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 that seems like a pile of, of, of dumbs. Get marginally closer to an enemy. At least have the at least have the attack animation hit the character, you know? Otherwise it feels like it definitely should miss. Alright. At least Drachma's able to hit a little bit harder now. That's always good. This is probably going to do, like, what, 300? 410. Okay. Better than I was prepared for, at least. I'm starting to regret not beating up the little kid. Yeah, add that to the quote book, why don't you? Uh, and then you panicked. But doesn't that wear off almost immediately? Yes, yes. Very, very rude. Don't do that. I... Uh, didn't seem to, so I guess not. That's unfortunate. Okay. Hmm. Then... Why do I feel like I somebody learned the ability to multi-heal for some reason? Not, apparently doesn't seem to be the case. Alright. Be nice if we could lower those stats somehow. 
Doesn't seem like it's much of an option, though. That's really lame. All right, just focus for now. Mm, actually, no. Maybe we'll get lucky and be able to get rid of all that bad stuff before Fina can do something that we all end up regretting horribly, you know? Or, you, yeah, regretting hor- Yeah, that, that, that works, that works. And let me just check everybody's HP a bit. Yeah, okay. Just making sure. He's charging. Oh, boy. I am not a fan when he does that. Let's try this. All right. Not that Fina... I don't, actually, can they use their magic spells when they're confused? Like, that would be a pretty big problem. Otherwise, I guess her randomly attacking a teammate wouldn't be the worst thing, because not exactly the strongest in the world, but still, it's nice to prevent such things. This should work. Heals him up. There we go. If nothing else, be an incredibly good wall of meat of which to stop all sorts of the pains. All right, then. I mean, we're slowly but surely whittling this dude down, so no reason to think that this isn't a good idea, honestly. Then we'll just keep on doing what we're doing. Now, how about we just use this? Why not? And, of course, the, the mighty mechanical backhand legendary punch. Oh, dear. I'm not, sh I'm not sure if I straight up died. It looked like he might have had a... Yeah, he had like the tiniest sliver of HP left. Holy crap, how did that work out for us? That is miraculous, to say the minimum. There we go, there you go. Make sure you actually finish your job a little bit, you big nerd. What do you gotta say about that? Ah, a counter hit. Understandable, makes sense. Let's try this. Hit him with the crystals! Barabushka! Oh, that worked fantastically. Yeah, we got to do that more often. Okay, okay. I got items. Be sure to use them. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, well, 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 well. Uh, I suppose what we'll do is we're going to hope for the best that, yeah, that he decides to not hit Vice. That is... That is what we're gonna go with. I'm also gonna use this. And then, I suppose there's nothing stopping me because I mean, Vice would need it. Bit of an annoying thing that, but there you go. What? <laughs> what? Why did you do that? Let's try this. He was barely injured from that one attack I did forever ago. That that was a gargantuan waste. That was a really stupid idea. Okay, that one makes more sense. It's not going to amount to much because I'm about to whoop him something fierce, but... Okay, I mean, if, if that's how you guys decided you want to spend your turn, then good on ya, I, I guess. Makes no difference to me. Because I'm pretty sure I've almost got this made. Doesn't seem to me like the little guys got the ability to really attack in any way. So, yeah. Instead, we'll just, I guess, an electric box? Yeah, let's use that. We'll just use all sorts of items we got, because why not, you know? We can use more Crystallis. Basically, one of these things is going to hit him and kill him. Is that really the best course of action right now? I would have recommended healing yourself. Wouldn't have amounted to a whole lot, but, you know, at least it would have been sensible. It would have made sense. You wouldn't have, you know, your, your last action in this fight wouldn't have been seen as pointless and stupid. Either way, that's the end of that. I don't suppose he'd just give up? No. I didn't feel like that was going to be the case. I suppose it would make sense that this kid would, in fact, uh, might have high defenses against magics. Okay, well, how's it feel about getting backhanded? Not great. Let's yeah, I feel like this was actually a pretty good call. This entire time, this rupee kid hasn't used a single actual attack against us. Best they can do appears to just be whittling us down with, with, with stats and stuff. 
which is incredibly easy for me to get rid of, if I'm being honest. In fact, I can actually clear up the last stat downs with this. There we go. I guess it was just Ica. Didn't really need to do that. Could have used a crystal. Oh, well. Now we just, I guess, beat the ever-loving hell out of this kid. Oh, hang on. Do you actually? You do have an attack, eh? All right. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. The good news is it doesn't look like you have a lot of HP, so... I was also yet to see you successfully counter literally anything. So, that's obviously, you know, helping me out a lot. Also, I find it interesting that this battle has dragged on long enough for me to fully realize that... For whatever reason, I guess stat ups and downs don't actually ever go away. You use them once, and you've just got them. I mean, that's pretty cool. In fact, um, I, I, I feel like I should be able to do this now. Unless an enemy does something about it, then it's not really... I guess you just... Unless you yourself get rid of the buffs, or debuffs, I, I guess there's not really anything else you can do about it. That's pretty nifty. There we go. Yeah, let's, let's make absolutely certain to, uh... <laughs> Uh, go to an item store and go absolutely ham in that place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Giant fireballs and all that good stuff. Good for you, good for you, good for you. Hmm. Of course, the fact of the matter is I don't have a lot of healing items left, so... We definitely want to probably get rid of this kid before that becomes an issue. There we go, and now we're all faster. So, that's good. That's good. We got the buffs. We got the buffs. We're gonna do that. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna do that. We're just gonna wail on him until he, he, he falls down and goes kaboom boom. Get shanked by a weird thingamabobo! Gubble is a very strange creature. I, I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, backhand the child! There we go. Assuming you do the exact same thing you did the last two times, and you are. Small, cowardly child is nothing if not absurdly predictable. And we're going to be able to survive that, and we'll just finish this up next turn. Bada bang, bada boom, ba bow. We have succeeded in all of our endeavors, and that's pretty cool. This might be considered overkill, but I consider it awesome. So I'm going to do it anyway. Boom! And that takes care of that. It sure does. Never thought this game would be the type to actually have us, you know, beat the ever-loving tar out of a small child. But there you go, I suppose. And a big pile of money. Big pile of experience. Basically, this was an incredibly good use of my time. I feel pretty good about it. Everybody got to level up. Uh, whoa, hang on. Vice might level up twice. Just barely leveling up twice. That is amazing. That is a lot of more HP. Oh, oh, I am okay with all of this. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, and I apparently I have a captain's hat. Neat. That's not even getting into the bounty we're about to get from this, so all in all, pretty good time. <laughs> Unbelievable. The mighty L Larso clan has been defeated. Is... The Larso clan, literally just you two? If so, then I really don't know how much of an, you know, accolade that is. Barda, that's why I said we shouldn't pick fights like that in the first place. What's wrong, Rupee? You don't like being an air pirate? No, honestly, I really don't. Not really. I actually can't stand the sight of blood. It makes me queasy. I'd much rather stay in town with my mom and make carpets. In fact, my mother told me that the carpets I made for her sold quickly and people are asking for more of my designs. Yeah, maybe support his actual endeavors. But Master Rupee, it, but what will happen to the Larso clan? What will happen to its legacy? I don't know. I guess it'll die. I don't know. Well, a man has to follow his dreams. If he doesn't want to be an air pirate, then what's the point, right? I'm the son of an air pirate, too. I'm sure if I didn't want to follow in Dad's footsteps, I wouldn't have. But this is the life I chose. Rupee, if there's something else you'd rather do, then do it. If you don't, you'll probably regret it for the rest of your life, of which you have a considerable large amount of left. Really? So I can go back to the carpet store and make carpets with my mom, if that's what makes you happy. Of course, nothing is more important than your dreams. Remember that. Yeah. 
Sure, I'll do my best. Oh, Master Froopy, what are you doing? He will not be peer pressured by you any longer. Now you stay out of this. We beat you fair and square. So if I says Rupee can make carpets, the Rupee is going to make carpets, okay? <sighs> Barda, let's make carpets together. I won't run away from this. <sighs> I'll see you around then, Rupee. You've got many things to do and many things to say, but good luck with your carpets. Yeah. Thanks. I may not be a very good air pirate, but in the name of the Larso clan, I'm going to make the best carpets ever. I find it interesting that uh, that's the second time we've done a bounty thing, and neither time do we actually bring them into the authorities in any regard. That reminds me, actually. Hang on. Before I go and buy stuff, I actually found a discovery while I was flying over here. It should be. Uh, I'd never be able to re find it by any stretch, but I should be able to show it to you guys from here. Hey, it's Vice the Admirable. B -b 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 the ba 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 I hear that you defeated one of the bounties. Well done. Here's your reward. That's really not a lot, but thank you. All right, so let's just sell some information. Oh, I guess I have from a lot of stuff I found. Kind of forgot about that. Huh, okay. Um, It was the Maroon Isle. Is that for room? Okay. Uh, maybe it's in my journaly thing? That might be a thing. That's worth looking at, at least. Uh, the wanted list. Gordo the Round! A pirate who will do anything for good food. Let me take a look here. An air pirate that only attacks ships carrying food cargo in the North Ocean area. He's taken a liking to the spice trade between Vala and Ixataka. I see. Learning from his chefs, he uses fire to not only cook his meals, but his opponents as well. Now that's an issue. Interesting. Oh, the new leader of the Larso clan was nothing but a young boy. In a strange turn of events, the same boy has given up a life as a pirate and has joined his mother in his carpet-making business. His giant of a bodyguard has also decided to join him. And what does it say? Uh, Baltor, along with the ship the Blackbeard, was defeated by Vice the, Bl the Blue Rogue, but managed to escape thanks to Vice trade routes through Dasar and Mid-Ocean are much safer. Rumor has it that Baltor has sworn vengeance against Vice. Yeah, good luck with that. You're the tutorial guy. All right. So... In between Vala and Ixitaka. So basically the area from where we were and where we're supposed to go. Okay, and he attacks ships. So maybe he'll just be flying around? That'd be convenient if I'm being honest. Alright, might as well. From the ruins of Shrine Island. Whew, there's so much stuff that I'm expected to find. I'll just take all this stuff because I can. I'll find stuff, don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it any which way. I'll figure something out, probably. Alright. Well, that's all there is to say about that. Now, if I could just take a look, I guess, at the journal. Oh, yeah, it is in Discoveries. I'm just curious. Do we have new stuff? Uh, I can't believe how much the Fallens are taking advantage of the people here. Why? Uh, won't the king fight back? But this land sure is huge. It's gonna be hard looking for the crystal. And all I can think about is fruit. Sheesh. We finally secured a second crystal, the green crystal. I began thinking. I realized that the Gygas are nothing but tools. It's the heart of men that use the Gygas for their own evil. I must not fail on my mission. I must not let Vice down. I wish it was more blatantly obvious who was writing each one of these. Uh, also, apparently there's only going to be two. That's unfortunate. I like those. All right, but discoveries. Let's see. I found something called, like, the Maroons the thing. Ah, there we go. Maroon Isle. There it is. Long ago, when air pirates betrayed their cap crew or captain, as punishment, they were abandoned on this island, with only a week's supply of food. So fearful did pirates become of this island, its legend lives on in the songs of air pirates even today. So, there you go. Which is interesting, because apparently it's known enough for people to make songs about, so... And we found it, so it was a real thing, so it's, it, it's weird that it was, like, full of legends and what have you. Oh, well, be that as it twer. Knock, knock, knock. This is probably the last time we're ever actually gonna be around these here parts. All right, the only real problem here is I don't remember which one is the place that'll sell me the stuff that I want. Well, that's a sword, so I'm pretty sure this is just a weapon shop and a weapon shop alone. Seems like a safe bet. I'm assuming that the item shop will have been updated to some degree. I'm left wondering if 
that is even a reasonable thing to expect. Alright, and minor issue. Doesn't seem like there are, are any signs to tell me about the items. So I just have to bust into places and hope that one of them is it. Dang, that might be it over there. You'll have to forgive me, I don't remember every tiny minute detail. Yeah, this is definitely items. There we go. Oh yeah, I remember you and your strange hat. I mean, it's a cool hat, but still, I've heard tales about you, Vice the Admiral. Please purchase anything I hear I have to offer. Yeah, well, that's the plan. I got a lot of money. All right, so assuming you can actually, like, sell the stuff that I want, you can, in fact, not. All right, the great start. All right, well, I'll buy 20 of those at least. That's a thing to do. Yeah, not exactly anywhere close to as helpful as I would have preferred. And once again, you have slammed your head on the counter. You are not... You're not very good at this. You're a strange... You're a strange man. A strange man with a strange plan. From a strange land. And any other words that might... Coincidentally actually maybe rhyme. I don't know. I've never claimed to be good at that sort of thing. Alrighty then. So now I gotta go all the way back to where I was. That's a bit annoying. But I don't really have any real regrets. Uh, if nothing else, I would like to try and get all of the bounties. I don't know if I'll be able to find all the discoveries, but I mean, I could certainly try. I made a third save thingy in case I accidentally ran into something that I couldn't get back so I could back out real fast. That's why there's a third one now. And you, then you, then, and you can even see how long it took me to get from, you know, that place back to this port. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Alrighty then. That being said... Uh, well, no real reason to have you guys be subjected to the long trip back, so let's just, you know, speed that along, why don't we? Oh, hello there! I apparently found a sky anemone. That's pretty cool. I guess. A bizarre creature that lives its entire life attached to a rock. Stretching its tentacles out and waiting for prey to float by, it releases a sweet fragrance to attract fish. But larger ones have been known to endanger small ships. Well, ain't that something and a half? Alright, well, now you know why I didn't bother showing you the trip over there in the first place. It took like 15 minutes to get myself all the way back here. Absolutely redonkulous. Well, because of you, the forest has been saved. It would make me happy if any of my items proved useful to you. Well, your items are significantly better than the stuff I can get anywhere else, so yeah. Namely, I would like an absolute boatload of these, if you don't mind. Thank you, yes, 20. 20 seems like a pretty good idea, and just quickly check to see all these other ones, and yeah, we're doing good on those. We're doing just fine. We're doing just fine. And I didn't actually bother to check. Hang on a second here. You are a hero to all who live in the forest. I'd be honored if you used my weapons. I am relatively certain that I currently am. Yeah, as a matter of fact. I just wanted to check to see all that, and I also wanted to check to see... Don't want to sell that or that. But we can definitely sell that. And we can also get rid of the Locodril. And we can also get rid of, I guess, the Grendel. Wait. No. Don't get rid of the Grendel. Hold up. Isn't that something that I happen to, like, get recently? And it should be better? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was, wait a second, wait a second there. I remember getting that in a f- I should have equipped that a long time ago. And now that I finally did, I'm probably just gonna go to another town and they're gonna have something that's better than it, and that's unfortunate. Oh well, I suppose that's just how it be sometimes. That's why you gotta try and not be so forgetful about these things. 
In my defense, it's been a few days since I last recorded. Get off my butt. Shazams, I'm trying my best. All right, then. Well, I really just kind of came here for that. Oh, by the way, as you might have been able to notice from the whole, uh, you know, that speed, that speed up thing I'm gonna do with that I did. Yeah, Lambda Burst definitely does well enough in those fights that it, I didn't even have to worry about the fact that I had, you know, significantly less HP. I never bothered to actually heal myself after that one bounty fight. I didn't do that to make a point or anything. I was just stupid and legitimately forgot to heal myself. Also, I'm having trouble finding my way to, you know, the place where the actual inn is. Because, if I'm being entirely honest, the way this town is built is really kind of annoying, and I don't much care for it. I mean, I, you know, it's their home, whatever. You know, it can be however they want, and I guess when you're, when you're building your village in a big tree, you know, area, and they're gonna be all attached to the trees, they're gonna end up having to do, deal with a bunch of ladders and, 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 and guardrails and stuff. I get it. It doesn't make it any less annoying and inconvenient, I'll tell you that. Okay, this should finally, at long last, lead me to where I want to go. Heesh. Just because I was able to get back to this place without healing myself up doesn't mean I'm not going to assume that something is going to try and attack us on my way over there to the new place. You saved the village! Thank you! Now please- Oh, I thought you were gonna ask for money. Did you- She probably didn't even ask money for me last time, did they? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Free heals! You, when they offer free heals, you take the free heals. All right, thank you very much. All righty then. Now that I've been, I've restocked up on items so I can heal myself what good, and we're all healed up and everything should be, you know, funky fresh and, and all that good, good stuff. And we should, in theory, be able to make some progress. Question is, do I spend a bit of time flying around trying to find that second bounty? Or I suppose third bounty, as it's the third on the list. I just mean second in the sense that it would be the second one that I've actually dealt with in the last hour. Decisions, decisions, and what have you. I suppose there's nothing stopping me from just flying around, and if, I, if they happen to be around and I can hit them, then I should. Otherwise, I'm probably going to have to go back around... That'd be a bit of an issue. I would like to not have to do what I did this time, you know? Alright, luckily I learned from my mistake, and I know that I can't fly over that town, so I'm not even gonna freaking bother. 